Hi everyone and welcome to your Taxton assignment for 2017. You've been asked to do a Taxton project, which is a tax project encompassing an ITR 12 income tax return and a taxable income calculation, which you will be given documents for in order to do this project. You will receive an email from Taxton advising you on the completion date of the project and on what you have to do and from who the project is from and who the project is going to be done about. The aim of this project is to identify how to do a tax return and of course work out your taxable income calculation for a taxpayer. Remember that when you submit a document to SARS, you don't give them the, tax the taxable income calculation, you give them a tax return and you put that information on and then SARS works that out. So the, pro the point of this project primarily is to identify as a future tax practitioner what information gets provided to you by your client, what you have to tell SARS, and then at the end of it with your project, you need to take the solution that your, pro that your lecturer will give you, your solution that you've done, and work backwards and say and see, where did I make a mistake? What do I need to look at? And what, if I were a practitioner, do I need to identify from my client? So to start with, you will all receive an email, or you should receive an email, which will detail, as I said, your closing date for your project, and the name of the person that you'll be doing the assignment for. On that project, you will of course see a email address or a website. In this case, a website, you will, receive, you will see that. You need to click that website. It will then take you to a specific page, which is this page over here. Please remember that on the side, you have students in the top right-hand corner. If you, for some reason, do not receive the email, you need to log on to www.taxtim.com. Click on the top right hand side students and it will take you to this page. Once on this page you need to please select University of Johannesburg. You then need to enter in your student number as you receive it as, what, as your student number. And then of course you need to enter in an email address. It can be any email address that you have. It can be any email address that you have. Um, and that will be the one that you would use to work with the project going forward. Remember to select a password that you can remember. If you get forget password, if you click that in case you've forgotten your password, you would need to then be able to follow that prompt. So remember the password that you do select, as well as clicking on the I declare that the work I'm about to submit is entirely my own. That is a plagiarism declaration. If you do not uh, select that, you will not be able to continue on with the project. By selecting that, you are saying that the work that you have done is your own work. Once you have submitted and gone through and clicked OK, it will then take you onto this next screen. This next screen says, hi, your name obviously, you've got two tasks. The two tasks are either a tax return and a tax calculation. When you click start on either of those, it will take you to the beginning of that, of that particular part of your assignment. Remember that under student mode, it must have a tick. If you do not have that tick, you will be unable to do your project. So it must be in the student mode. If it's not in the student mode, as I said, you cannot do your project. So let's start with the tax return. You click start. It starts to ask you a few questions. If you click on this green IRP5 IT3A or anything that is green like this, a hyperlink will open up. And with that hyperlink, you will be able to then obviously get more information. You would need to click yes or no, or enter in the amounts or whatever the question is. In this case, you enter in the amount yes. You just follow the questions. Tim will ask them to you, you will enter the amounts, you will have to click save. If you click this help button, it will give you more information as well. Or if you click next, and depending on what it is. In the top here are your different sections. So if you make an error, if you want to change something, you would go back and you would click on that section. If it's highlighted in green underneath, what that means is that that is the section you are working on. If you do make a change, make the change, the questions will change. Um, the answers required may change and will guide you along the process. Just like we're having a conversation right now, if I ask you something and you give me a different answer, I'm going to ask you another question. So remember that. Click save, of course, if you do change your answer, otherwise it will not take in the, 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 the changed answer. If at any point you do decide to leave this question and you're going to come back to it at a later stage to complete your answers, it will save everything. So as soon as you log back in, it, it will take you to exactly where you were. Once you have finished going through, answering the tax return questions, remember this is to prepare your ITR 12, you will get to this at the end. You will get to see your ITR 12. Once you see that, you can scroll down and have a look, what does my ITR 12 look like? If you wish to make a change because you've seen something that you've done incorrectly, click on the click here, it will take you back to the previous screen and you'll be able to 
you'll be able to answer some more of those questions. When you are ready, you click mark and submit. Once you've done that, your project is marked. So it says here, you have submitted your tax return for marking back to my tasks. Remember to only submit once you are finished. We cannot reopen this for you. The mark is automatically calculated and added to your, to your year score. When you are finished, you can go back to my tasks, which takes you back to this screen. And it will allow you to then say, say submitted, and it will allow you to then click on the next tax calculation to start. Or if you've done the tax calculation first, then obviously the tax return would allow you um, to start that. Remember, like I said, you don't have to complete them both before you start the next one. So if you want to start the tax calculation and then go back to the tax return, just remember to go to this screen, which is via your student mode, via logging in. Every time you log in, it will take you to this screen. So you can do bit by bit by bit. Once you have clicked Start Tax Calculation, it takes you to this screen. You will see here a couple of little things that you need to do. So if you've got a negative value, for example, you can either put a negative sign or in brackets, and both are accepted. If you want to put nil, so that's a zero, please put a zero. Um, if you put 60,000, for example, and there's a space in between, it will strip it out. The biggest thing and the most important thing is, all the time, save your work. Every five minutes, we suggest clicking Save Your Work. You may have a slow internet connection. You may have something go wrong, and you don't want to miss out on that work. So unlike the ITR 12, where I said if you log out and log back in, it will take you to where you were, if you log out here without clicking Save, it will not save your work. So you, so you need to click Save Your Work. You will also see two different shots here. So in this particular example, there's an ITA 34 2016 and an IRP 6 2016. Those two different buttons will indicate the two different things that you have to complete. So you may have two, you may have three in your case, or you may have four. So you need to click each one of them and complete those. Remember, as I said, save your work. It gives you this screenshot or this uh, 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 sheet. You see that you have things down the side. That'll give you hints of what you need to fill in where for the different types of requests. You then have yellow blocks and gray blocks. You see the yellow blocks are for calculations and the gray blocks are for final answers. In your calculation block, you can write whatever you want. If you want to write 3 times 6 equals 18, you can write that. In your gray block, you would put the answer 18. That is the final answer that we are looking for. In the calculations block, you put, as I said, absolutely anything. The system will automatically mark what you need to put in based on the answers that you have. So be as um, put in as much information as possible. Don't leave anything out. Rather put in more than less. But of course, as I said, in your final answer, you need to put in the final, very final answer that you've calculated. Once you've finished both or three or four, depends on the different number of sheets, as we said, the different pages that it says here for you to complete, and you've saved all of your work, so you're happy, my suggestion is take a screenshot of all these works, a push print screen and save them onto paint or something so you have that just in case your system logs out or whatever when you're trying to save, but that's separate. When you are ready to submit, you click the submit project over there. It will take you to the screen that says you are about to submit your work for final marking. All the sheets assigned to you are submitted together. You can only hand in once. So it's you finished all your different sheets and you click OK and it hands in your project. And then it says you've submitted your tax calculation for marking back to your tasks. So in this case, we did the tax return first. We then did a tax calculation. It said submitted and submitted. And now you have a, you have a certificate that you're able to download, which allows you to, which tells you exactly what you've done. And it allows you to say, right, I've completed this on the tax return and the tax calculation. And now you have everything. You can also, of course, follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Or if you do are, are working and you need or a friend of yours is working and they may need our help, you can click here and it will take you to get you some more information um, on how to assist your family and friends. Thank you very much.